An Iranian man who lived in a Paris airport for 18 years has died. Marin Karimi Nasiri's experience inspired the 2004 film The Terminal, starring Tom Hanks. Lacking the correct paperwork to travel, he had made a small area of Charles de Gaulle Airport his home. Ima McCarthy reports. Mehran Karimi Nasiri's story was stranger than fiction. An Iranian exile, he lived in Paris's Charles de Gaulle airport for 18 years after being refused entry to Britain and France because he had no papers. Here he is, speaking back in 1999. I, I think nobody can, uh, can live uh, 11 years uh, in such a situation. And I am, I am unique in immigration case, uh, clandestine uh, appeal to two, three, four governments and uh, uh, some appeals successful granted, some appeal refused. But uh, in this situation, I am unique in immigration case. All of his possessions were stored in boxes and bags on an airport cart, and he'd wash and shave in airport bathrooms. Mr. Navarsky, please follow me. His story grabbed the attention of famed director Steven Spielberg and inspired the 2004 film The Terminal. There's a man walking around the terminal in a bathrobe. Tom Hanks played the role of Victor Navorsky, who was based on Mehran and found himself stranded at JFK. Despite being granted refugee status and the right to remain in France in 1999, Mehran stayed at the airport until 2006. He then spent time living in a hostel using the money he had received for the terminal. An airport official said he returned to the airport a few weeks ago, where he lived until he died of natural causes in Terminal 2F. He was 76.